wet your hands with water. Apply soap, rub your hands palm to palm and wash the backs of both hands and in between your fingers. Then palm to palm with fingers interlocked. Clasp your hands together and rub and then clean around the thumbs too. Rub your fingertips in the palms of your hands and finish off with the wrists. Rinse your hands really well with water and dry them thoroughly with a paper towel. Use the towel to turn off the tap. Your hands are now clean. Good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, how are you? Hurry up, get ready, warm up yourself. Hurry up, hurry up, get ready, warm up yourself. Clap your hands, clap your hands, stretch your arms, stretch your arms. Clap your hands, clap your hands, stretch your arms, stretch your arms. Hands up, hands down, hands up, hands down. Hurry up, get ready. It's our study time. Circle time. Circle time. Join hands with all your friends in a circle, circle time. that never ends. Don't let go as one by one you circle lift your arms time. up to the sun. Slow and easy. Drop them down as we make a wave going round and round. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, it's our circle time. Yes, this is your teacher, Miss Asia Zahir, and we are going to start our circle time with great fun and we will learn many new things too okay today first of all we will learn surah ikhlas and then we will have some common commands so are you ready great okay my dear students here we have surah al ikhlas before we start our surah we will say أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Then, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Okay, now listen carefully and repeat after me. قل هو الله أحد. قل هو الله أحد. الله الصمد. الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم أوكي now, listen carefully and learn the Surah Ikhlas as much as you can. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد 
ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. Okay, now let's learn some common commands. If you want to know somebody name, okay? So how you will ask? You will say, may I know your name, please? May I know your name, please? Right? Sometimes you want to know the name. So you have to ask. And how you will ask? You will say, may I know your name? Name, please. Once again, may I know your name, please. Okay. And if sometime you want to ask a question, what you will do? You will always, if you are in a class or you are some somewhere in the gathering, you will raise your hand and say may i ask a question please may i ask a question please you can also ask you want to ask something some question from your mama you can say may i ask a Question, please. May I ask a question, please? Okay. So, how you will say, uh, how you will ask a name of somebody? May I know your name, please? May I know your name, please? May I ask a question, please? Raise your hand and say, May I ask a question, please? Understand? So, your English is getting better, right? So, whenever you want to ask, always say, May I know your name please and that person will tell you his or her name and if you want to ask a question you have some confusion you can say may i ask a question please okay i hope you understand Wonderful, great job. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video too much. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you kids? I hope. You are doing well. Dear kids, your teacher Mrs. Armin Arshad is here and today I'm going to teach you English. Review Kids, first of all, you will get review of your previous lecture with me. Okay? Let's start. Dear kids, in your previous lecture, you have learned formation of letters. Okay, dear kids. Can you tell me which letter is this? Good. Let us see. Which letter is this? Let us see. What is the sound of letter C? It's K. K. Very good. What is the sound of letter C? K. Excellent job. Okay, now you will make letter C with me now, okay? Place your pencil here and follow the arrow. Sing letter rhyme and 
make letter C. Right to left, make it round, touch the line, stop above the ground. Once again, right to left, make it round, touch the line, stop above the ground. Which letter is this? Letter C. And what is the sound of letter C? Excellent job. It's K. And you tell me which letter is this? Good. It's letter O. Letter O. What is the sound of letter O? Good. It's Good. Let's make letter C with me. This one is the starting point. Follow the arrow. Sing letter rhyme with me. Go in a circle. Right to left. Keep on turning. Do it right. Good. Once again. Go in a circle. Right to left. Keep on turning. Do it right. Very good. Which letter is this? Letter O. And what is the sound of letter O? O. Good. Excellent job. Today's lecture. Objective. Dear kids, you are going to learn today new letter. Wow. It's letter I. Okay? You will learn about recognition of letter I, sound of letter I, vocabulary of letter I, and formation of letter I. Are you ready? Good! Here we go! Which letter is this? Letter I. Which letter is this? Letter I. Which letter is this? Good. Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Sound of letter I is E. E. Repeat with me. Good. Vocabulary of letter I. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good. It's E. E. And what is this? Good. Import. Ink pot. What is this? Ink pot. What is the sound of letter I? E. E. Ink pot. Read after me. E. Ink pot. Once again. E. Ink pot. Good job. What is this? Yes, igloo. Read after me. Igloo. Igloo. Good. And which letter is this, my dear kids? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good job. It's E. E. Now, read after me. E. Igloo. E. Igloo. Once again. E. Igloo. Very good. Now, what is this? 
Yes, infant. Infant. And which letter is this? Letter I. Very good. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good job. It's E. E. Now read after me. E. Infant. E. Infant. Once again. E. Infant. Very good. What is this? Good. Ice cream. Ice cream. And which letter is this? Letter I. Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good job. It's E. E. Now read after me. E. Ice cream. E. Ice cream. Very good. Once again. E. Ice cream. Excellent job. Okay, my dear kids. Please get ready with your English series pre-year two book. A pencil, an eraser, a sharpener and some colors for today's lecture. Hurry up everyone. Get ready. Good. Please open page number 10 of English series pre-year 2 book. Hurry up everyone. Please open page number 10. Good. Now look at the icon. The first icon is read. Kids, first of all, you are going to read this page with me. Okay, can you tell me which letter is this? Letter I. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good. It's E. Read after me. E. Good job. And what is this? Infant. Good. What is this? Infant. Once again, read after me. Infant. Repeat with me. E. Infant. Once again. E. Infant. And what is this? Good job. Igloo. Igloo. Repeat after me. Igloo. What is this? E. Now repeat after me. E. Igloo. Igloo. Once again. E. Igloo. Good job. And what is this? Ink pot. Ink pot. Ink pot. Very good. And what is this? E. What is this? Now, repeat after me. E. Ink pot. E. Ink pot. Very good. Now, the next icon is trace. Kids, you will trace letter I with me here now. Hurry up everyone. Place your pencil here. Good. And sing letter rhyme with me. Let's start. Just come down and you stop. 
a dot on the top. Bird. Once again, just come down, then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Good job. Now, trace this one with me. Just come down. Then you stop. A dot on the top. Good job. Very good. Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? E. Good. The next icon is color. Kids, now you will do color in the picture of infant, igloo, and ink pot. Now, don't forget to write date on the top of the page and your name also. Okay, dear kids? Very good. Formation of letter. I. Very good. Kids, can you tell me which letter is this? Letter I. Good. Excellent job. And what is the sound of letter I? Yes, it's E. E. Very good. Kids, now you are going to learn how to write letter I. Okay. Make letter I with me. You can make letter I in the air or on your table. This one is the starting point. Sing letter rhyme. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Once again, just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. Okay, my dear kids. Now, please open page number 12 of English series pre-year 2 book. Hurry up, everyone. Please open page number 12. Good. Hurry up. I'm waiting. Good. Look at the icon. The first icon is trace. Kids, first of all, you are going to trace letter I with me. Okay? Let's start. This one is the starting point. Place your pencil here. Good. Here we go. Just come down. Then you stop. A dot on the top. Good. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? It's E. Good. Now, this one is done. On your first line, you will trace the next one with me. Place your pencil here. Follow the arrow and join the dots to make letter I. Okay? Letter I. Let's start. Place your pencil on the starting point. Good. Sing letter rhyme. Just come down and you stop. Put a dot on the top. Letter I. Good. Let's trace the next one. Place a pencil. Hurry up. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Good. Letter I. Hurry up everyone. Trace. Very good. Trace the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Letter I. Good. Let's trace the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. Last one on this line. Hurry up everyone. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Good. Letter I. Very good. Move on the next line. Place your pencil on the starting point and trace with me. Just come down and you stop. Put a dot on the top. 
Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? It's E. Good. Now move on the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Letter I. Hurry up, hurry up everyone. Very good. Good job. Once again, now trace the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. Now the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. Hurry up, finish your tracing. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Yes, it's E. Good. Last one on this line. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. Now look at the next icon right. Kids, now you will write letter I by yourself. Okay? From this one starting point. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top, okay? Let's write with me. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top. Yes, letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good, it's E. Very good. Now write down the next one. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top. Hurry up, hurry up everyone, write down the next one. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top. Very good. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good job. It's E. Okay, let's write the next one. Just come down and you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. Very good. Let's write the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Letter I. Very good. Hurry up, hurry up. Write down everyone. The next one on this line. Just come down, then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Good job. It's E. Very good. Move on the next line. Write with me. Just come down, then you stop. Put a dot on the top. The top, very good. Good job. Hurry up, write down. Get up now. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. The next one now. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? It's E. Good. Okay, let's write the next one. Just come down, then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. Which letter is this? Letter I. Very good. Okay, now place your pencil here and write on the next one. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top, letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Yes, it's E. Good job. Last one on this line. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top. 
Which letter is this? Good job. It's letter I. Okay. Move on the next line. Write with me. Place a pencil on the starting point. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Yes, letter I. Very good. Move on the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. Okay, finish your work. Hurry up, everyone. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Very good. Hurry up. Write down the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Letter I. Very good. And what is the sound of letter I? Yes. It's E. Good. Write down the next one. Just come down. Then you stop. Put dot on the top. Very good. Okay, write down the last one here. Just come down. Then you stop. Put a dot on the top. Which letter is this? Very good. Letter I. Very good. And what is the sound of letter I? It's E. Look at the next icon color. Dear kids, do you know what is this? Very good. Igloo. Kids, now you will do color in the picture of igloo. And don't forget to write date and your name on the top of the page. Good job. Home assignment. Dear kids, you will complete page number 10 and 12 of English series pre-year 2 book. Okay, dear kids. Summary. Which letter is this? Letter I. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Yes. E. What is the sound of letter I? E. Very good. Vocabulary of letter I. What is this? Ink pot. And what is the sound of letter I? E. Okay, now repeat after me. E. Ink pot. E. Ink pot. And what is this? Ice cream. E. Ice cream. Repeat after me. E. Ice cream. Once again, eat ice cream. Very good. What is this? Yes, infant. Infant. Eat infant. Very good. Repeat after me. Eat infant. And what is this? Igloo. Very good. Igloo. And what is this? E. And what is this? Igloo. Good job. Repeat after me. E. Igloo. Good. Formation of letter I. Okay, let's repeat it. Place a pencil here and sing letter rhyme. Just come down, then you stop, put a dot on the top. Yes, letter I. Which letter is this? Letter I. What is the sound of letter I? Yes, it's E. Good. Dear kids, if you have any problem or any question, you are most welcome on my WhatsApp. I will be always there for you. Kids, thank you for listening to today's lecture. See you. Bye.
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم پیارے بچوں آپ سب لوگ کیسے ہیں میں امید کرتی ہوں آپ سب لوگ خیریت سے ہوں گے اور گھر میں پڑھائی کرنے کے ساتھ ساتھ خوب انجوائے بھی کر رہے ہوں گے پیارے بچوں یہ آپ کی اردو کی آن لائن کلاس ہے اور میں ہوں آپ کی اردو کی ٹیچر فرا کرمانی پیارے بچوں اردو کی اس کلاس میں میں آپ کو خوش آمدید کہتی ہوں بچوں آج کی اس کلاس میں آپ پچھلے سبق کی دہرائی کریں گے اور ایک کہانی سنیں گے اور وہ کہانی ہے پکنک اور پیارے بچوں آج کی اس کلاس میں آپ ایک نیا حرف بھی سیکھیں گے اور وہ حرف ہے ت تو پیارے بچوں آج آپ حرف ت کے ذخیرہ الفاظ کی پڑھائی کریں گے بچوں یہ آپ کی اردو کی کتابیں ہیں پیارے بچوں آپ کی اردو کی دو کتابیں ہیں آپ کی پہلی کتاب کا نام ہے اردو سلسلہ ابتدائی سال دو اور آپ کی دوسری اردو کی کتاب کا نام ہے خوشقتی سلسلہ ابتدائی سال دو تو پیارے بچوں آج کی کلاس کا کام آپ اردو سلسلہ ابتدائی سال دو میں کریں گے جو کہ سب رنگ کی ہے پیارے بچوں آج کی کلاس کا سبق شروع کرنے سے پہلے ہم پچھلے سبق کی دہرائی کریں گے اور آپ سب لوگ بھی ٹیچر کے ساتھ ساتھ پچھلے سبق کو دہرائیں گے پیارے بچوں یہ آپ کی پچھلی کلاس کا سبق ہے اور بچوں آپ نے اپنی پچھلی کلاس میں اردو سلسلہ ابتدائی سال دوم کا پیج نمبر ایٹ مکمل کیا تھا اور خوشقتی سلسلہ ابتدائی سال دوم کے پیج نمبر ٹوینٹی فائیو کو بھی مکمل کیا تھا آئیے بچوں آج کی اس کلاس میں ہم ان دونوں پیجز کی دہرائی کرتے ہیں تو پیارے بچوں یہ حرف ہے پ آپ سب لوگ میرے ساتھ ساتھ بولیے پ یہ حرف ہے پ اور بچوں اس کے نیچے تین نقطے ہوتے ہیں ایک دو تین پ اور بچوں اب آپ لوگ یہاں پر حرف پ کے ذخیرہ الفاظ کی دہرائی کریں پ پیاز پ پیاز شابش بچوں پھر بولیے پ پیاز پ پیاز بہت خوب ایک بار پھر بولتے ہیں پ پیاز شابش بچوں بچوں اگلی تصویر ہے پ پنکھا پ پنکھا دوبارہ بولے پ پنکھا شابش بچوں پھر بولے پ پنکھا بہت خوب پ پنکھا شابش بچوں اور بچوں یہ دیکھیے اگلی تصویر ہے پ پیالا آپ سب لوگ بولیے شاباش پ پیالا پ پیالا شاباش بچوں پھر بولیں پ پیالا بہت خوب اور پیارے بچوں آخری تصویر ہے پ پلنگ پ پلنگ پ پلنگ بہت خوب پلنگ شابش بچوں اب بچوں اگلے پیج پہ ہم ہر پ کے ذخیرہ الفاظ کی دہرائی کرتے ہیں اور آپ سب لوگ بھی ٹیچر کے ساتھ ساتھ پچھلی کلاس کی سبق کی دہرائی کریں پیارے بچوں یہ حرف ہے پ اور پ کے نیچے تین نقطے ہوتے ہیں آئیے مل کر ان نقطوں کو گنتے ہیں ایک دو تین یہ ہے پ شابش بچوں 
अब आप सब लोग पढ़ाई करें प पत्ता प पत्ता शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले प पत्ता बहुत खूब प पत्ता शाबाश बच्चों आप सब लोग मिलकर बोले प पत्ता शाबाश बच्चों अगली तस्वीर है प प्याला प प्याला दोबारा बोले प प्याला शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोलते हैं प प्याला बहुत खूब और प्यारे बच्चों आखिरी तस्वीर है प पतंग प पतंग फिर बोले प पतंग शाबाश बच्चों तो प्यारे बच्चों यहाँ पर आपने अपने पिछले सबक की दोहराई को मुकम्मल कर लिया है प्यारे बच्चों आज की क्लास में आप एक कहानी सुनेंगे और बच्चों आप ये कहानी गौर से सुनिएगा मैं कहानी शुरू करती हूँ बच्चों कहानी का नाम है पिकनिक एक दिन बिल्ली बंदर बत्तख तितली तीतर और टॉम ने प्रोग्राम बनाया के पिकनिक पर चलते हैं बिल्ली बोली मियाऊ मियाऊ मैं तो अपने लिए खूब सारी बोटी रखूंगी बंदर बोला मैं तो बहुत सारी बोतल रखूंगा तितली और तीतर ने कहा हम तो तरबूज रखेंगे और इतने में टॉम और ट्यूटी भागते हुए आए और कहने लगे के इस टोकरी में बहुत सारे टमाटर और प्याज हैं ये भी रख लो लेकिन सब ने कहा कि जाएंगे कैसे तो इतने में इन्हें आवाज आई घर जो देखा तो एक ट्रक आ रहा था सब खुश हो गए बिल्ली बंदर तीतर तितली टॉम सब जोर जोर से आवाज देने लगे तो ट्रक आ गया वो लोग इसमें बैठ गए और खुशी खुशी जाने लगे कि अचानक एक बड़ी सी टहनी टूटकर ट्रक के सामने गिर गई धड़ाम ट्रक ने अचानक जोर से ब्रेक लगाई चर सारे टमाटर और प्याज भी टोकरी से गिर गए सब ने जल्दी जल्दी टमाटर और प्याज टोकरी में डाले और टहनी को हटाया और फिर वो लोग दोबारा ट्रक में बैठ गए और एक बहुत बड़ा सा बाग था वहा पहुंचे बाग में एक पलंग भी था और पंखा भी रखा था और प्यारे प्यारे से परिंदे भी थे तीतर बंदर बिल्ली सब बहुत खुश थे सब पलंग पर बैठ गए और पंखे की हवा खाने लगे थोड़ी देर में आसमान पर बादल आ गए मौसम बहुत अच्छा हो गया वहां पर पानी भी था वो सब इसमें नहाने लगे खूब मजा आ रहा था टॉम तो बाल्टी में पानी डालकर नहाने लगा लेकिन ट्यूटी बहुत उदास थी उसको टीवी देखने का दिल चाह रहा था सब ने कहा कि जब हम घर जाएंगे तुम टीवी देख लेना आओ पहले नहा लो तो ट्यूटी नहाने चली गई छप 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 इसे तो बड़ा ही मजा आ रहा था फिर सबको भूख लगी तो उन्होंने प्याज और टमाटर की सलाद बनाई और तरबूज काटा और खूब मजे से खाया तो प्यारे बच्चों ये कहानी तो खत्म हो गई आपको कैसी लगी मुझे बताइएगा जरूर प्यारे बच्चों ये आपकी आज की क्लास का सबक है और बच्चों आज की क्लास में आप एक नया हर्फ सीखेंगे 
और इस हर्फ का नाम है तो आप सब लोग बोलिए तो शाबाश बच्चों दोबारा बोलिए तो ये हर्फ है तो दोबारा बोले तो शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले तो और प्यारे बच्चों हर तब के ऊपर दो नुक्ते आते हैं एक दो तब ये हर्फ है तब शाबाश बच्चों बच्चों हर्फ त की नजम भी पढ़ें हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुक्ते अब त पे लाओ शाबाश बच्चों फिर पढ़ें हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुक्ते अब त पे लाओ शाबाश बच्चों बच्चों ये देखिए हर्फ त के ऊपर दो नुक्ते आते हैं आप इन नुक्तों को गिने एक दो जी हाँ बच्चों ये है हर्फ त जिसपे दो नुक्ते आते हैं इसकी नजम फिर पड़े हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुक्ते अब त पे लाओ शाबाश बच्चों फिर पढ़ते हैं हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुक्ते अब त पे लाओ बहुत खूब तो प्यारे बच्चों इस हर्फ का नाम दोबारा बोले त शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले त त बहुत खूब प्यारे बच्चों और प्यारे बच्चों यहाँ पर आप हर त के जखीरा अल्फाज की पढ़ाई करेंगे बच्चों आप सब लोग मिलकर बोलिए ये हर्फ है त शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोलिए त और बच्चों इस तस्वीर का नाम है तरबूज और तरबूज के शुरू की आवाज है त आप सब लोग बोलिए त तरबूज त तरबूज शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले त तरबूज त तरबूज शाबाश बच्चों बच्चों फिर बोलते हैं त तरबूज त तरबूज शाबाश बच्चों बच्चों यहाँ पर भी आप हर त के जखीरा अल्फाज की पढ़ाई करेंगे तो बच्चों आप सब लोग टीचर के साथ साथ बोले त तीर त तीर शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले त तीर बहुत खूब प्यारे बच्चों आप सब लोग मिलकर बोलिए त तीर शाबाश त तीर बहुत खूब फिर बोले त तीर शाबाश बच्चों और प्यारे बच्चों ये तस्वीर है तलवार आप सब लोग बोलिए त तलवार त तलवार शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले त तलवार बहुत खूब बच्चों ये हर्फ है त और ये है तलवार प्यारे बच्चों तलवार की शुरू की आवाज त होती है आप सब लोग मिलकर बोलिए टीचर के साथ त तलवार त तलवार शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोले त तलवार बहुत खूब प्यारे बच्चों यहाँ पर भी आप हर त के जखीरा अल्फाज की पढ़ाई करेंगे तो बच्चों आप सब लोग मिलकर बोलिए त तीतर त तीतर शाबाश बच्चों दोबारा बोले त तीतर बहुत खूब त तीतर शाबाश बच्चों फिर बोलते हैं त तीतर त तीतर बहुत खूब बच्चों प्यारे बच्चों आज की क्लास में हमने पिछले सबक की दोहराई मुकम्मल कर ली है और आज के सबक की पढ़ाई भी मुकम्मल कर ली है अब हम आज की क्लास का काम करते हैं तो बच्चों आप लोग जल्दी से जाइए अपनी किताब और पेंसिल बॉक्स लेकर आ जाएं फिर हम आज की क्लास का काम शुरू करते हैं प्यारे बच्चों ये आपकी आज की क्लास का काम है और आज की क्लास का काम आप उर्दू सिलसिला इब्तदाई साल दोम के पेज नंबर टेन पर करेंगे 
प्यारे बच्चों इस सफे पर काम शुरू करने से पहले आप यहाँ पर आज की तारीख लिखेंगे ठीक है बच्चों प्यारे बच्चों आइए देखते हैं इस पेज पर हमें क्या काम करना है सबसे पहले इन अलामती तस्वीरों को देखते हैं पहली तस्वीर है पढ़िए बच्चों आप लोग पेज नंबर टेन की पढ़ाई करेंगे दूसरी तस्वीर है पेंसिल फेरिए प्यारे बच्चों पेज नंबर टेन पर दिए गए हर तक के ऊपर आप पेंसिल फेरेंगे आखिरी अलामती तस्वीर है रंग भरिए और प्यारे बच्चों पेज टेन पर दी गई तस्वीरों में बहुत अच्छा सा रंग भरेंगे तो बच्चों आइए पेज नंबर टेन की पढ़ाई करते हैं बच्चों ये हर्फ है त आप सब लोग बोलिए त शाबश बच्चों फिर बोले त त बहुत हूँ प्यारे बच्चों हर त की नजम भी पढ़े हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुकते अब तक पे लाओ शाबश बच्चों दोबारा पढ़ते हैं हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुकते अब तक पे लाओ शाबश बच्चों फिर पढ़ते हैं हाथ उठाओ ताली बजाओ दो नुकते अब तक पे लाओ शाबश बच्चों तो प्यारे बच्चों हर तक के ऊपर दो नुकते आते हैं एक दो तक आप सब लोग बोलिए त दोबारा बोले त शाबश बच्चों बच्चों आइए हर त के जखीरा अल्फाज की पढ़ाई करते हैं त तीतर त तीतर शाबश बच्चों फिर बोले त तीतर बहुत खूब त तीतर शाबश बच्चों बच्चों अगली तस्वीर का नाम बोलते हैं त तरबूज तरबूज शाबश बच्चों आप सब लोग बोलिए त तरबूज त तरबूज बहुत खूब और ये तस्वीर है त तीर त तीर शाबश बच्चों फिर बोले त तीर त तीर बहुत खूब बच्चों एक बार फिर पढ़ाई करते हैं त तीतर तीतर शाबश बच्चों त तरबूज त तरबूज और आखिरी तस्वीर है त तीर त तीर त तीर बहुत खूब प्यारे बच्चों तो बच्चों यहाँ पर हमने पेज नंबर टेन की पढ़ाई मुकम्मल कर ली है अब आप हर त के ऊपर पेंसिल फेरेंगे तो प्यारे बच्चों आप डॉट पर पेंसिल रखेंगे नीचे की तरफ आते हुए तमाम डॉट्स को आपस में मिलाएंगे और दो नुकते भी लगाएंगे एक दो ये हर्फ है त आइए हर्फ त के ऊपर पेंसिल फेरते हैं बच्चों आप डॉट पर पेंसिल रखें और तमाम डॉट्स को आपस में मिलाएं और हर्फ त को मुकम्मल करें और दो नुकते भी लगाए एक दो त शाबश बच्चों बच्चों आइए इस त के ऊपर भी पेंसिल फेरते हैं आप डॉट पर पेंसिल रखें और तमाम डॉट्स को आपस में मिलाएं इस तरह से और दो नुकते भी लगाएं एक दो शाबश बच्चों ये हर्फ है त त तो प्यारे बच्चों इस तरह से हमने पेज नंबर टेन पर हर त के ऊपर पेंसिल फेर ली है अब अब आप लोग पेज नंबर टेन पर दी गई तस्वीरों में बहुत अच्छा सा रंग भरेंगे ठीक है बच्चों प्यारे बच्चों आइए देखते हैं कि हमने आज की क्लास में क्या पढ़ा है तो प्यारे बच्चों आज की क्लास में हमने एक नया हर्फ सीखा है और इस हर्फ का नाम है त बच्चों आप सब लोग बोलिए त दोबारा बोले त और प्यारे बच्चों आप सबको मालूम है हर त के ऊपर दो नुकते आते हैं एक दो त ये हर्फ है त दोबारा बोले त बच्चों आइए हर्फ 
یافتہ کے ذخیرہ الفاظ کی پڑھائی ایک بار پھر کرتے ہیں بچوں آپ سب لوگ بولیے تیر تیر شابش بچوں پھر بولیں ت تیر بہت خوب پھر بولتے ہیں ت تیر شابش بچوں اب بچوں یہ تصویر ہے ت تلوار ت تلوار شابش بچوں پھر بولیں ت تلوار بہت خوب ت تلوار شابش بچوں پھر بولتے ہیں ت تلوار بہت خوب اور بچوں اگلی تصویر ہے ت تربوز آپ سب لوگ بولیے شاباش ت تربوز ت تربوز شاباش بچوں پھر بولتے ہیں ت تربوز بہت خوب اور آخری تصویر ہے ت تیتر ت تیتر شاباش بچوں آپ سب لوگ بولیے ت تیتر تیتر شابش بچوں ت تیتر بہت خوب پیارے بچوں پیارے بچوں یہ آپ کا ہوم ورک ہے اور ہوم ورک آپ اپنی اردو کے کتاب اردو سلسلہ ابتدائی سال دوم کے پیج نمبر ٹین پر کریں گے بچوں اس پیج کی آپ پڑھائی کریں گے حرف کے اوپر پینسل پھیریں گے اور تصویروں میں رنگ بھریں گے ٹھیک ہے بچوں بچوں آپ کی آج کی اردو کی یہ کلاس اب ختم ہوتی ہے میں امید کرتی ہوں آپ کو آج کا سبق اچھی طرح سے سمجھ میں آ گیا ہوگا تو پیارے بچوں آج کے سبق کو آپ اچھی طرح سے یاد کریں گے اور اپنا بہت خیال رکھیں گے اور آپ کی ٹیچر آپ سے اگلی کلاس میں ملیں گی اللہ حافظ بچوں تھینک یو
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my dear little cute students welcome once again in your math online lesson with your teacher Miss Asia Zahir it's our nursery lecture one of math of this week. Okay, so are you ready to get start? That's wonderful. As usual, before we start our today's lesson, we will review the previous one. As you remember that we were studying number one, so, all of you know how we write number one, how number one looks like. It looks like a straight line and our finger pointing straight in the upward direction is number one. And the value of number one is Number one means we are talking about one object, one thing, or a one person, or a one, for example, real, and etc. Okay? So, if you remember that while writing number one, we were singing the number one rhyme. So, what is it? Let's sing it once again. Look for the starting point, come down the line, touch your spine. We will start from the top and we will stop at the bottom. Always we have to go towards the down direction. Direction, Okay? Okay, my dear student, to know the numeral value of number one, we were doing one worksheet and one page of our book in which we were joining the object with the associate number, which is number one. So, count, we will count here the object, it's one dinosaur, so we can join it with number one. One. It belongs to number one. Here we will count the objects. One, two. So will we join it? No. Here one doll. We will join one doll with number one. And this one is have many dolls. They are many. They are more than one. So we will not join it with number. One. Perfect. Okay. Now it's our time to move towards our today's lecture. Okay. My dear little champions, today we are going to start a new topic which is about solid shape that we also call 3D shape. And we are going to learn about the sphere. Sphere. Today, the topic of our today's list lesson is sphere. Sphere. Now, look here. What you can see on the screen. This is called sphere. Sphere. Can you see the solid shape, the solid ball? It's called a sphere. It's the 3D shape. So, we will see always the solid shape with the thickness, okay? Not the flat shape without thickness, okay? So, in a sphere, we have one curved surface. The sphere is always curved. We, uh, what, what's the meaning of curve? Like this, not a straight, like this. So, we have one curved surface in the sphere. And can you see any corners or any edges? No. You will never see like in circle. But the circle is flat shape. It doesn't have any thickness. And it is always 
flat on the wall or on the paper or it is like that okay but it's fair you can hold it in your hand you can hold it in your hand and this fit and this is fair like a ball it it will always roll this with the shape of the sphere is always roll like you see the ball when you kick it very light even very light you will push it and it will starting started rolling because it has only one curved surface and there are no corners so it doesn't it will not stay on any surface it will roll okay it's very hard for the sphere to stay on the ground or or, or any surface okay so let's see some examples of a sphere from our daily life okay we can see sphere everywhere like ball what are the examples of a sphere my dear students look here did you see orange you can hold it in your hands right it's a round without corners it's a round shape without corners and it is called sphere and have you noticed ever if you put it in in the plate even it will not stay it will roll right and what we can see we also have an example of ball ball is also is fair okay and what else can you think think with me and tell me if you can find any example of a sphere from around you or from your daily life can you tell me some example look balloon good job if you say balloon you are excellent look balloon is also a sphere okay it becomes round it doesn't have any shape it's solid it has thickness and we can hold it in our hands okay but it's a sphere shape so we cannot hold it so long time in our hand it slipped from our hand and it start rolling okay so let's see what's next okay my dear students it's so interesting to do this activity okay here i put two buckets for you in one bucket you will put the 3d shape which is a sphere and in the other bu bucket you will you will put the 2d or the flat shape which is not 3d shape and which is a circle so look here what is the 3d and what is the 2d shape can you tell me now think look it's a button it's round it's but it's flat right it's not a solid shape like a ball so where we put it it associate with what which bucket the second one good job so we will put this button inside this bucket okay because it associate with the 2d shape now look here we can see here ball which is now all of you know right all of you know understand the difference between the circle and the sphere now let's put it in our associate bucket which is 3d here so we will put this ball inside this bucket and the circle shape the flat shape in the 2d bucket understand okay now you can also do this activity in your home okay take two buckets take two bowls or whatever and find some things uh sphere and some things which are not a sphere which are circle and put them into the associate buckets or associate balls or some or whatever you put the basket or whatever okay understand my little champions wonderful i love you that's great okay now we will move towards our next slide 
Okay, my dear students, now it's time to take out your math series prayer two book. Take out your blue book with the butterfly picture on it and it's your math series prayer two book. Okay, and open page number five. Hurry up, open page number five. I'm waiting for you. That's great. Okay, my dear students, in this page, we will read the story. Okay, you can see the icons here. The finger pointing here, it means read. And this icons means color so you will the you will color the picture but what you have to read you have to read the shape name and also i will read the story for you to understand about our 3d shape sphere and don't forget to put the today's date here okay always when you will open the page Immediately put the dates first of all and then start working and watching what else you have to do. Okay, now it's our story time. Oh my God, you are so excited. The word story make you so excited. I know it, yeah? Okay, let's read it. Okay, my dear students, listen it carefully. Ahmed, teacher, who is Ahmed? This boy, Ahmed. Ahmed's teacher asked him to collect things without edges or corners. Okay, when Ahmed returned home, he took out his box of toys. These, there was a car, a pot, and a plane in it, but all these toys were with edges, and he couldn't find a single toy without edges. Okay, here in this story, the teacher of Ahmed said her to find out some shape which doesn't have corners or edges, and all of us know it's a sphere shape. Now, Ahmed is trying to find this shape. Okay, what happened next? He couldn't find it, but what happened next? He called upon his friends to help him. All his friends gathered to help him. Zebra said, look, Ahmed, what do I have in my hand? These are glass balls. Ahmed, rep <clears throat> Ahmed replied, and look, they don't have edges and corners. They all are round, said Zebra. Ahmed was delighted to see the balls. At the same moment, Kitten entered into the room with balloons. Ahmed shouted, Look, these balloons are all surrounding. Butterfly pointed towards the oranges in a tree once said, Ahmed, they are also round. Ahmed said, Yes, you are right. This football and this ball are round in shape and have no edges. My friends, do you know that we call things that are round in shape? Asked Butterfly. Everyone said, No. We call these things a sphere, said Butterfly. They all started singing. Come here, come here, let's make a sphere. Come here, come here, let's make a sphere. No edges, no corner, it is round, I swear. No edges, no corner, it is round, I swear. Come here, come here, let's make a sphere. No edges, no corners, it is round, I swear. Okay, my little champions, 
This story was about the shape sphere. So do you know now that the sphere is round and have no corners and no edges? Okay, now my dears, get ready for our interesting counting song. So one, two, three. Here we go. today's lecture and I am sure you know it very well what we did today. So can you give me a summary please? Great, wonderful. We completed page number five in which we read the story regarding our 3D shape sphere. Ahmed wanted to find the sphere shape and his friends helped him to find it. So today we learned the solid shape sphere. My dears, in your home assignment you have to complete this page number 5 and Color it and send to the WhatsApp and also find out some more examples of a sphere, okay? Find out, look around you and find out uh, the shape is sphere and share it on the WhatsApp. Okay, now it's time to say your goodbye and before goodbye, I would like to remind you that if you have any queries or any confusions you can freely anytime you can contact on the whatsapp okay my dear kids goodbye have a wonderful day